actually we started in a very very humble setting in this on the same block uh, farther down um, in a very sort of a small sandwich salad shop was the beginning of our uh, business and we named it peacock mostly to be as proud as peacock and serve food as colorful and variety as peacock and then of course it happened to match the 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 peacock throne and people a couple of months later were asking us if we named it because of the peacock throne i'm like hmm that sounds pretty good sure but uh that's how peacock cafe started in june of 91 uh, very very small and humble and uh, this is years later and here we are we have that it's so rich in background and it's so rich in history uh, we can talk about our culture, we can talk where it came from. And it's given me an opportunity for someone who's been in the United States since my teen years, and I wasn't really that exposed to uh, Iranian cooking per se for the last 30 some odd years. I really, really rely on my, uh, what I remember tasting from my family's cooking. So when I first started to cook for the masses, if you would, to, rep to, to feel like, hey, I'm representing uh, Persian culture. I actually went and did some research myself. So I did some reading, some asking around, especially with folks from different parts of Iran. And one of the things that I'm learning too, Iran, just like a lot of other fabulous cuisines that we're familiar with from France to Italy or, or even China, there are different regions that have different flavors, different cooking styles. So I try to relay that to my staff first so they can also talk to our clientele about it and um, really to, to, to talk about the richness, the beautiful culture and the history, many thousand year old history uh, of our food and the Silk Road that brought all the beautiful spices from Far East to Iran and uh, the amazing thing we've been doing with it. For the second year in a row, uh, we did a prefix menu uh, representing Noru celebration. So we're doing an all Persian menu uh, served in a sort of upscale, a way not just for Iranian American communities, Iranians, but also to, an opportunity for me to uh, introduce our culture, some of the beautiful things about our culture. And through food, it gives us an opportunity to talk about I've seen about a lot of different parts of the uh, beautiful culture that we have. And we make a lot of friends with uh, people who are curious enough to learn, they want to expand their palate or their knowledge. Roasted eggplants, uh, I reduce it with uh, with some pomegranate juice, uh, some rose petal for garnish, and some seasoning. We make our own all-spice Persian all-spice here in-house. We make our own mix, two, three different versions of it for porridge, for rice, as well as uh, some other goodies like this. And then I serve it with some olives. I try to create the colors of the Persian flag, Iranian flag, white, green, and red. That's sort of the, my play on it, a little fun with it. Everything has a little twist of uh, a little playfulness, if you will. And then the grape leaves, as far as I know, I'm the only one who grills them after they're cooked. So they pick up a little bit of the grilled smoky flavor, uh, served with some feta cheese, basil, olive oil drizzled on top, over some yogurt cucumber, slightly spicy yogurt cucumber uh, sauce. These are presentations of two of our entrees as we normally uh, serve to our clientele. This is our version of Gaime, uh, which is served with traditional condiments of uh, uh, sure pickled vegetables. The radishes are, uh, come in, this is a sort of a marriage of what's available locally with the traditional flavors. Uh, vegetables from Lancaster Farm Co-op, uh, good uh, organic source for us uh, and then sabzi pula mahi which is uh, local uh, wild rockfish served with our green herb rice which is a traditional noruz uh, meal with some local vegetables uh, try to keep it colorful fabulous healthy and yummy